database and database management systems, database development. Data model is the graphical systems used to capture the nature and relationship among data taken from entities involved in the business or organizational processes. This data model are commonly composed of entities, attributes, and relationships. The word entity pertains to a person, a place, an object, an event, or a concept in the user environment about which the organization wishes to maintain data. Attributes are properties that describes the entity. For example, the entity students can have an attribute of a student number, name, address, contact number, gender, and so on and so forth. The data model represents a real-world object within the process of the organization. To support the creation of data model, a data modeling and design tool is being used to provide automation. The components of your database environment are the following. One is the data modeling and design tools. These are automated tools used to design databases and application programs. These tools help the creation of data model and, in some cases, can also help automatically generate the code needed to create the database. Next is the repository. This is a centralized knowledge base for all data definitions, data relationships, screen and report formats, and other system components. A repository contains an extended set of metadata important for managing databases as well as other components of an information system. Next component is your DBMS. This is a software used to create, maintain, and provide controlled access to users' databases. Of course, we have database. This is the organized collection of logical related data usually designed to meet the information needs of multiple users in an organization. It is important to distinguish between the database and the repository. The repository contains definitions of data, whereas the database contains occurrence of data. Next component is your application programs and computer-based application programs. These are the used to create and maintain the database and provide information to users. Next is user interface. This includes languages, menus, and other facilities which users use to interact with various components of our system. This includes data modeling and design tools, application programs, and the DBMS and also the repository. Next is data and database administrators, the person who are responsible for the overall management of data resources in an organization. Database administrators are responsible for physical database design and for managing technical issues in the database environment. The next component is system developers. These are people such as analysts and programmers who design a new application program. And of course, last is the user, the people throughout the organization who adds, delete, and modify data in the database and who represents or receive information from it. All user interactions with the database must be routed through the DBMS. Software development lifecycle is the traditional way or methodology to develop system and software. SDLC can also be used to the development of the database. Normally, SDLC was break into phases to organize the development activities. The first one is planning. This is the first phase 
of SDLC, Development of the Preliminary Understanding of the Business Situation, and how information system might help solve the problem or potentially enhance business processes to make an opportunity possible is in this phase. Planning is followed by analysis phase, where thorough investigation or examination of business situation to determine requirements and to structure these requirements for the selection of complete system feature is done. The database developer will compare the preliminary conceptual model against the enterprise model to further develop the detailed conceptual data model and concretize the relationship and properties of the entities affected by the business rules that will be included in the system development. Within the phase of analysis is the population of repository to verify that all conceptual database specifications are consistent with other model of information system. Next is the design phase to elicit the structure of all data or information requirements based on the technology and organizational specification identified in the previous phases. Implementation phase is next. This is when programs was written to build the information system and in our case, our database. The activity of users training and finalization of the documentation is also done in implementation phase. And in our case, the physical database will be implemented. This means that we will be testing the correctness and integrity of our database. And we will also install the database for the integration of the previous data used by the previous system. Last phase is the maintenance phase, which means that we will be monitoring the operation and usefulness of the system, and we will also repair or enhance the system if needed. In our case, since that we are implementing our database, while the database is being used, we will be observing the database to ensure that it will meet or is still meeting the needed requirements of our organization. Also in the maintenance phase, we are tasked to improve the performance and if there are errors, the database will be fixed and the data will be recovered if it is contaminated. During the planning stage of database development, enterprise and data modeling takes place. Enterprise modeling is the analysis of the current data processing and the general business function and their database needs. Enterprise modeling also justifies the needs of new data and database in support of the business processes and functions. Data modeling takes place in analysis phase. It is the identification of the scope of database requirements that will be included in the information system. Identification of scope is done by analyzing the overall data requirements for business functions that will be supported by the database. Data modeling is important because the data captured by this activity is crucial to the development of the overall design of the database and the information system. Data modeling will come up into three schema. By schema, we are talking about a skeletal structure that represents the logical view of the database. The three schema are the conceptual schema, which is a detailed technology independent specification of the overall structure of the organizational data. Second is the logical schema. This is the representation of the database for a particular database management technology. And last is the physical schema. This is the specification for how data from the logical schema are stored in the computer's secondary memory by 
the database management system. To further explain this, conceptual schema or the high-level design is the map of concepts, their properties, and their relationship towards one another. Logical schema is done by creating the database view, which is the detailed analysis of the transaction, forms, display, and inquiries required by the business function that will be supported by the database. And last, physical database design and definition is often the actual definition of the database in the database management system. It decides the physical organization of data that are crucial in designing the database processing programs. The American Standards Institute or ANSI version of a schema are the following. External schema or the user schema is the combination of enterprise data model, top-down view, and the user views, bottom-up view. Conceptual schema or ANSI combines the different external views into a single coherent and comprehensive definition of the enterprise data. And the last schema for ANSI is the internal schema which consists of two separate schema, the logical schema and the physical schema.